Hello and welcome to your video tour of the 2021 long wheelbase Toyota Hiace at Pacific Toyota Cairns. We've had a bit of a break in the rain so just giving the van a quick wipe down for you so you can clearly see the condition of the paint. But before we get into the tour of the car we'll just have a quick look around the yard. So this is one of our two used car yards here at Toyota Cairns. This one's located at 235 Mulgrave Road and then the other's located at 77 Mulgrave Road. We have about 270 cars in stock, so we're pretty packed in at the moment. We do sell about 200 cars a month, and of those 200 cars, about half of them do go down south. So it's definitely something we can accommodate for you. Just across the road there, we have our new cars, Toyota and Lexus. And just behind that, we have our services, parts and accessories. So getting into the tour of the car now, we'll start at the front here. So starting with our front windscreen, making sure there's no scratches, cracks or any damages like that in the front windscreen. As you can see, all in great condition there. The price has just been reduced as well. A little bit of dirt there, but we'll give this car a professional detail before it goes out to you. Now going over the paint to the front here, if I do see any damages, stone chips, scratches or anything like that, I do like to point them out clearly in the video so you know exactly what you're getting. Don't want the car to get down south to you just to have any um, dramas there. But as you can see, they're painted along the front, all in really great condition. And now coming around to that driver's side, everything's nice and straight there. No dents or dings in that side. And just having a look at the paint to the front as well. As you can see, no stone chips or anything like that. And have a look over those rims, no scratches or curb rash on the rims. And you still got heaps of tread on the tyres as well. Now going over the side mirror, I do want to point out a very, very small mark on the paint just there. Just at the bottom of that side mirror. It's not very noticeable, but just want you to know exactly what you're getting. And have a look at that side mirror now. A little bit of dirt on there, but no scratches or anything, which is great to see. And you can see in the top corner there, you've got your blind spot sensors. Now coming around the front, a few little scuff marks in the plastic, but nothing major. You got your parking sensors at the front there. The car's looking really good as you can see, no damages along there. And now coming around to the passenger side again, everything's looking nice and straight. And have a look at that front wheel on the passenger side now. Rim's looking really good there again. And again, plenty of tire tread as well. And now having a look over the paint here at the front. A couple of very, very minor stone chips just there. And have a look at this side mirror. Very small little chip in the paint just there. But overall, this car's in really great condition. And again, side mirror, no scratches or anything on there. And you got your blind spot sensor as well. Now, I'll just have a look over the paint on this side. One thing I do like to point out in the video is just really nitpicking the car. Very hard to avoid in pre-owned vehicles. Just some scratches on the inside of the door handles. That's just from people's fingernails opening up the door there. And now just having a look over the rest of the paint on this side. open up the passenger door and have a look in the front a couple of little scratch marks on the plastic just here nothing major but other than that looking really nice and tidy through the front dash is looking really good there no sagging or anything along the roof lining and no scratches or marks on these front seats either and then you got the floor mats in the front as well Underneath, no damages along there. 
floor mats have done a good job protecting it there. Couple little scratch marks in the plastic, but nothing major. Just want to point them all out to you so you know exactly what you're getting. Now we'll open up the back and have a look in there for you. Look at the tools in the jack there. Some scuff marks in the back just from people loading stuff in the back. But no dents or anything like that. Just some very minor scuff marks along the front here. Obviously being a pre-owned vehicle, but overall in great condition. Couple marks over there as well. And then on that side there too. Come around the back, have a look at that back windscreen. No scratches or cracks or anything like that in the back windscreen. Got your reverse sensors as well, as well as your reverse camera. Paint on the back's all looking really good though, no damages on the paint. You got the tow bar there as well. We'll have the tow bar. Just have a look at the back as well. Now, coming around to the last wheel, there are a couple of scratch marks on that rim. Just want to point them out to you. It is just the cover there, that one can be easily replaced. And it's no nothing major, but still. Just want to point out every mark I can see. Still got plenty of tread on that tire as well. And then just have a look over the paint on this side. And again, have a look at that roof too. A little bit wet up there still, but no dents or dings or hidden damages up there. Lastly now, we'll open up this driver um, door, starting with the inside of there. A couple little scratch marks in the plastic, most likely just from someone wearing a ring or something just there. But other than that, looking really good along the inside here. Again, rubber floor mat in the front, underneath all in good condition, there's no damages under there. Hop in and start it up for you. Before we start it up, just want to point out you've got three keys with this car. One with the remote on there, the other two are just the blades. A couple of scratch marks, which is very um, common in the pre owned vehicles, just from people's keys, just there. But this one's actually looking pretty good, to be honest with you. Now we'll start it up. As you can see, no warning lights popping up there. That's just your blind spot mon monitor and then just a light to show that you've turned off your parking sensors. But no warning lights or anything, which is great to see. And you've got your exact kilometers to date as well, 77,312 kilometers. Now we'll go over everything starting at the right. So you've got your window and side mirror controls there as well as, as well as your central locking. The side mirrors can be brought in and out to get in and out of those tight spaces too. Then coming over the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control on the right, as well as your lane assist and a couple of audio controls there at the bottom. Then on the left side, you've got your dash cluster control panel, some audio controls and your voiceless control as well. You can scroll through that dash cluster if you wish. Go through all of that, those menus. You got your parking sensor on the left side here as well. You got your automatic high beam too, which is definitely handy to have. 
Now coming over the center here, you got your touchscreen display with your built-in navigation. Touchscreen's all working well, which is great to see. Which you're ordering online and collect. Speakers all working well too, which is awesome. Coming down now, you've got your AC controls. Nice cold air coming out of there. And over here, you've got your idle up, your traction control, and your auto start and stop, which can be turned on and off. Um, can save some fuel. Some people prefer to just leave it off. Um, just personal preference. And then coming down, obviously, you have your gears there. And then just underneath that, you've got your power out, um, your USB outlet there, as well as a 12 volt outlet on the right side. Just a little bit of storage at the bottom there. And then, as I pointed out before, a couple scuff marks through the center here, but overall looking nice and tidy. Did go through it in the previous video, but we'll just go through it again. Having a look at that service history, you got the full service history with Toyota. Just flip through them nice and quick as we did go through it in the previous video. But as you can see, these ones have all been done with Toyota. And then that most recent service with Pacific Hino. Um, that is our workshop here at Pacific Toyota. So that was the service we did when we obtained the vehicle. That one was done at 77,227 kilometers. So you've got um, just under 10,000 kilometers before that next service, or just over 9,700. And you got that six months as well. Um, we'll chuck the car in reverse too, just so you can see that reverse camera there working. Now while we got the car running, I'm just going to pop the hood and have a look underneath there for you. Nice and tidy on the rear, no dirt build up or anything, everything's working well. Obviously you've got that full service history with Toyota. And we've had it checked over with our mechanics here at Toyota as well. I hope you enjoyed your video tour. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in more detail and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.